but more importantly, we're helping people that don't know that we're helping them. And that's probably the <coughs> satisfying part. The thing that I regret the most is there was four of us combat, Vietnam combat veterans in the House, none in the Senate when I arrived. And one of them was Doc Bates, who passed away. The other one was Dennis Richardson, who is now Secretary of State. Gene Wisnett was in Da Nang, and I was in country in 6970. Uh, but now, with Gene Wisnett and I leaving, and Dennis being Secretary of State and Doc, Bence, Doc Bates passing on, now you will not have a Vietnam combat veteran in the House or the Senate. And that's unfortunate because you don't have that point of view. Um, it was a different situation than the World War II veterans or the Korean era veterans because, well, you know, we weren't really supported in the field. We weren't supported by our government. We weren't supported by the people. And we sure weren't welcome home. And we were treated pretty poorly when we came home to all this. But I would suggest and hopefully have this committee get behind the Vietnam Memorial that they're planning to do in the grounds themselves because it's uh, Chair Evans is on that committee, I believe. You're, you're involved in that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go because it's the same time as Ag and Natural Resources when they're holding the committee. So, but uh, very worthwhile cause. And the other thing is I would hope that we get successful in Southern Oregon and get enough money, which this committee's been very good at trying to get some money for it. In fact, we got $250,000 from the state, but that's for the 80% replica of the Vietnam Memorial Wall. That wall does several things. One is it heals not only the veteran, but it also heals society and the public because they realize what they have done in the past and what those veterans have gone through and it's time that they, that wound did heal because that wound was open for a long time. So I'm very proud to say that I was part of this. In fact, I was one of the co-chairs. We had a 30-30 tie. Myself and Representative Witt were the co-chairs of this committee and uh, couldn't ask for a better guy to work with than, than he. And I must commend you, Ms. Mr. Chair, you've done an exemplary job with this committee. The good thing is no one knows and no one cares what your affiliation is. We're here to do a job for veterans. And for that, I thank each and every one of you. Well, and welcome home <laughs> to our